live now. Unscheduled live stream. Nice. Let me set this up a little bit. Twist on this. Hopefully the sound is not too much. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. And welcome to my channel. And welcome to an unscheduled live stream. Today is August 13th, 2020. And we're out here in the patio. And uh, we're just going to do some prep work for um, some food. Okay. One thing I'm going to do is I harvested some... Uh, I don't know if you can see this is grape leaves grape vines that come up here and I've shown you guys before and we're gonna be just cleaning some of the grapes that I picked that we use in the food that uh, I put together right it's sort of um, it makes it like tart uh, when we mix it in and we're also gonna be cleaning some uh, strawberries because I want to make strawberry jam later today Today or tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, unfortunately, I won't have time to live stream that. Uh, but it's the same, basically, recipe as we've used uh, before. Birdie here, how are you doing? Uncharted days. I guess notifications went out there. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. <laughs> we've got the sunrise coming up. It's like 7.30 right now. Uh, 7.30 a.m. my time, Pacific time okay and um i figured we'd do a live stream i'll do a little bit of work i now want grapes grapes the grapes are like hanging there's so much grapes we have like i harvested i've done three batches of harvesting on the of the unripened grapes this is the last batch of the unripened grapes that i'm going to harvest okay and we're just going to clean this and then put it in the uh, freezer so we use for cooking and i'm also going to clean some strawberries today okay hope hope you and chat are well i think everyone's doing pretty good it's a nice thursday so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to get to this just start cleaning because th there's a fair bit of work that uh sort of need to do and all i do with these is i mean they're just grapes right so all i do is just take them and just take them off these things and i just put them in to the bowl itself and then later on give them a wash okay and it's just a little tedious work but it's sort of meditative you know sometimes i put on uh, lectures interviews i surf news and listen to you know daily events or whatnot and i do the do the food prep right it's just like any kitchen whatever you get on your plate there's a lot of prep that goes in the background right cheryl how you doing yo chicho starsky how's life I'm harvesting the last batch of our uh, unripened grapes. The grapes are basically reaching a point where they're uh, they're becoming riper. So these are still very tart. Like if you eat these, it's super tart, but it's really good for mixing into food. X, how are you doing? I only eat strawberries during during Wimbledon. I'm so British with the uh, whipping cream, don't you? Elder God. Watching Roger and his backhands. Oh, Roger. Uh, what's his last name? Severn? Is it Severn? Is he still? He, he's not number one. Who's number one right now? So no strawberries here. Oh, okay, Cheryl. I'm going to show you this since you brought it up. Watch this. Watch this. You have no strawberries or I have no strawberries? We're gonna clean strawberries today. I got two flat of strawberries that I'm gonna cook up and make strawberry strawberry jam. No cream for me. Oh yeah, no cream for you, that's right. Oh, you're missing out, Elder God. Roger Federer, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not number one still, is he? I used to watch tennis back in uh, McEnroe and Connor and um, Beer, beer. I forget what his name was. No, that was a little bit. Uh, that was towards the end. When I was young, I used to watch. I had a really good friend. I loved tennis. He, unfortunately, he's no longer with us. And if you smoke cigarettes, stop smoking cigarettes. Your probability of getting lung cancer goes up a lot. 
Look at this. Me too. Early 80s for me. Yeah. Early 80s. 80s, really. Throughout the 80s, I sort of watched. Early 80s. Yeah, that would have been a period. By the way, gang, if I miss it, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. I'm at work right now, but I can participate a bit. Okay, Graham. Oh, yeah. School started. It's just going to be a chill stream, Graham. I'm just uh, doing prep. Harvested some grapes from our uh, grape vines here. And uh, we bought two flats of strawberries. But strawberry hit early this year, so I missed all but the late berries. Oh, really? Yeah, for us, it's weird. A lot of people got hit with a serious heat wave. For us in the West Coast, in Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, Victoria, like West Coast of BC, we haven't had really had a huge summer. Like, it hasn't been as hot as other places. So we got two two waves of strawberries the first wave was the little ones where we ended up eating eating them they were too too sweet too sweet to turn into strawberries uh, too ripe to turn into strawberries but this batch will make i um, uh, sorry strawberry jam and this batch will make amazing strawberry jam and i've never made strawberry jam uh, i've made other jams i've never made strawberry jam i don't know why love strawberry jam It's a melon year. The melons are amazing. We've had three watermelons so far this year. I wish we had more. But... How do you grow your grapes trying to grow? Ah, we've jacked the grapes from our neighbors. It came over from the neighbors. So I built a path for them, brought them up to the railing. Well, they were coming up the railing anyway. So I brought them up the railing, directed them here, build a wall and have a canopy of grapes. So how do I grow my grapes? I jack them from neighbors. <laughs> it says personal plans. Oops. Oh, I forgot to change the thingamajig on it. Okay, let me see if I can change it. I totally forgot to change. I did everything, but I forgot to change uh, uh, the thing. Patio live stream. Let me change this up. Patio live stream. the garden patio live stream in the garden hopefully this doesn't mess up the mess up the the stream and then let's change the category no I'll talk show and podcast is okay personal finance whatever that's okay garden let's see if there's a garden gardening there we go done I hope that didn't kill the stream <laughs> I think you should be okay cool Danite how's it going thanks Graham by the way do you have uh, thoughts on giving to charity I don't I don't give to charity anymore I used to I'm skeptical of a register yeah Graham I used to and I stopped I, I did my research and I realized I'm giving money to centralized institutions to launder money and destabilize countries and steal children. Uh, so I stopped to, and I was very upset that I had given so much to charities before in the past. But fool me once, fool me twice. I don't know how many times do we want to be fools. Never. Oh man. Are you making regular or uh, freezer jam? I'm making regular strawberry jam, Cheryl. Two flats. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be a big batch. <laughs> I'm going to be cooking it up for a bit. Did you forget to update the stream? I did. It's fine. You can change titles anytime you want. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Danite. Yeah, it worked. I, I don't want to mess around with the streams when I'm doing them because sometimes we get kicked off and it sucks. <laughs> we could talk about personal finance. For me, it's okay. We can just talk about whatever. We're going to be doing uh, movies tomorrow. Have you guys watched all the movies yet? 
I've washed all of them except there will be blood. I'm gonna wash that either tonight or tomorrow. There will be blood. Or not blood. Yeah, not yeah, yeah, there will be blood. In Bruges. <laughs> Fun. It's starting to get colder here in the mornings. It sort of sucks because we're in August. We're hoping to get nice warm, warm weather, but still haven't gone swimming this year. In the ocean anyway, so. Actually, I haven't gone swimming this year. I'm gonna watch it again, I think. Uh, there will be blood? Yeah, there will be blood. Mosquito, look at this. Mosquito was sucking my blood. See that? There will be blood. Look at this. He was having a good time. There will be blood. Let me wipe this, and I think I'm just gonna go wash my hands, because I don't want the, the food to be contaminated by it. Right? Here's a dead mosquito for you guys, and chicho blood. Let me go wash my hands, I'll be back. That's what happens in the morning, you get mosquitoes. Good timing though, there will be blood. You guys are that hot in the UK, eh? Wow, I wish it was hot here. We've had geese flying north already. It's bizarre when it's in the 90s. Oh, really? The geese are already migrating, eh? Geese flying north? Why are geese flying north right now? It's too hot? Unfortunately, I missed the movie stream because I'm working. Oh no, Uncharted is. 90% humidity is not very, no, it's not very pleasant, yikes. We get mosquitoes in the evenings here. We don't really have morning bugs, really. For us, mornings, uh, dawn and dusk. And in the evening, there are just certain parts you're being eaten alive. And then what I do when I remove them off this, I, I fill this full of water, the bowl, and um, there's little bits of like plant matter that floats up to the top and I grab a, and I scrape them off the top and then give them a rinse again and just scrape off the plant matter from the top of the water, right? It, because it floats and the grapes sink. Like, I don't even know where you would... You can't even buy this stuff. This unripened grapes. Got to, got to go to work. Have a good stream, Chicho. You have a fantastic day, Danite. Hope work goes well. And it's good to hear people are, uh, you know, getting back to work and stuff. As long as they love it. Or even like it. Or have to pay the bills. with the Sasquatch, Saskatchewan River so close. 
I think we end up with a lot of migrating birds that aren't quite in, uh, in rush. We normally start seeing Canada geese in late August once evenings are cooler. Wow, wow. Graham Chicho, are you familiar with uh, Canvas? Our district has moved to using Canvas, oh, for teaching, which uses a module system for putting out instructions and assignments. I don't know it, Graham. But it sounds cool. I think module system is the best way to go. That's sort of what I have planned for my things, right? Just different modules to teach people different things. And then they can pick and choose their module, right? They just have to know what it is they need uh, to progress to where it is they're going. So the modules have to be organized really well, linked up with nodes and whatnot, but I've never used it. Let me know what you think, if it's worth worth using. And it really depends who put it out. Oh, it was terrible, Uncharted says. Use Canvas at university was terrible. Oh, that sucks. I think you still uh, should look into... Uh, Skillshare it also uses a module based system okay once I start putting things out the modules for math and stuff I'm gonna look into all the different platforms um, it's just because I'm not there yet I don't wanna you know this decentralization I I gotta get all the videos onto BitChute so that's my sort of priority aside from streaming and uploading and sharing content and stuff and staying staying up with current events and you know whatever I promise to do uh, once I get all the videos onto BitChute then uh, especially the math videos uh, and the ASMR stuff and the comic book stuff then I'll look into putting the modules out it's just limited on time right <coughs> Graham you like canvas okay and by the way it's a different experience for uh, educators and uh, most platforms I find sometimes I've encountered people that educators that like a certain platform or like a certain way of doing things but students don't and vice versa right so it's just a matter of perspective I'm super depressed because I'll be starting university at age 21. Why? Are you in a rush? It's okay to start later. I've known people that go to university in their th late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Don't be in a rush. It's all good. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I feel like I'm wasting years of my life though. Ah, don't. That's the central education system. Uh, Central Indoctrination Center, uh, our economic system, which is based on consumption-based economic system that treats you as just a number and just a someone that generates money for them to consume their product. That's what they've instilled in you, time-based existence, uh, time-based everything. You're under the clock, you're under the clock. Don't, don't let it get to you. Hi, Dolphin, how are you doing? Sounds like there's been a lot of lightning and storms in UK. That's cool. Tragic Bronson alert. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Cheryl says the right thing. Uh, are you able to take any classes without uh, without uh, A level? Uh, take any classes without the A levels. So if you can take classes online and get the credits for them, just do that. If there's any reading material that you know you need, you can do that. If you're learning mathematics, you can start teaching your mathematics to yourself, right? Dude, 40 and I'm start, uh, starting something, something new. Cool.
Time is irrelevant, Elder Gus says. Just play the game. Just play the game. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. Time will take care of itself. Sleepy Waves, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. How much money do you think day traders can make from home? A lot. And they can lose a lot. I remember you saying a few weeks ago the price of silver went up, but I saw that a few days ago it dropped uh, alongside with gold. Sure, it goes up as trader's game, right? Wow, you grow many things. I try to, not, a, not as much as I would like. If I had more space, I'd be growing more. Chila, Chicho, I'm planning to become a math teacher in uae maybe in like dubai can i get your honest opinion uh as that as a future plan uh being a math teacher is fantastic it's in demand like mathematics is ridiculously important and there aren't enough good math teachers uh, relative to the number of students that need to learn mathematics relative to the number of people that need to learn mathematics um as for working in Dubai, I wouldn't. UAE, I wouldn't. That area is very, can become very unstable. Um, and I'm not into working in places that, uh, based on my lifestyle and my choices and, you know, censorship and stuff, if I say the wrong thing and criticize the wrong royal families and, the, and those in government, I will be thrown in jail or disappeared. So, personally i know you know i've had friends that work there they're okay with it i wouldn't like i wouldn't work in saudi arabia why would i work in saudi arabia uh, why would i work anywhere that where i have i don't have freedom uh, to me freedom comes first liberty comes first before anything and i would never work anywhere to prop up a, a brutal regime personally but that's my choice what do you use software to catch watch stocks and all that jazz? I don't trade anymore, Sleepy Waves. I used to, uh, lately, just curious about day trading since I'm out of work. Uh, Sleepy Waves, I haven't traded heavily for like 20 years. Okay. Before YouTube, before videos. Oops, throw the wrong thing in the wrong place. <laughs> before. <laughs> So I haven't, I haven't done heavy trading for 20 years. And I don't see myself going back to it. But if I do, I would definitely get, get some software. And I wouldn't do day trading. I would, my time frame would be, well, days could be it, days as well. But I would be doing puts and calls and I'd be doing time span would be more into the weeks, not minutes. No, these are grapes, unripened grapes I use for cooking. I put these in to uh, food that we make. Randall, how are you doing? I worked in Dubai, just a temporary contract. I quite like it. Yeah, I have lots of friends that have worked there that loved it. Uh, it's just, you know, I make this kind of content. Uh, if I say the wrong thing, and get on the wrong people's radar and I have I have been on certain radars I wouldn't feel safe being there sleepy waves chicho but I feel like sometimes you say his or that drop like cryptos silver gold how do you know I follow I follow the markets but I don't trade them I'm not active in them. For sure, I follow, I check prices on like at least 30 different companies, 30 or 40 different companies every day. And I check the price of gold and I check the price of silver, price of oil. Uh, I check financial news. I stay up to date stuff, right? Consider it more of a hobby, but it's more trying to be anti fragile and see what's coming. Like certain companies indicates certain things that are happening in the world so i just do that right
It's why you learned Arabic, yeah. Sorry, gang, if I miss some of the chat because I'm not touching the scroll. I'm just let the chat roll, roll. So my apologies for that. Stolt, Mister, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. Hope you're well, Chicho. Doing well. Thank you very much. Cleaning grapes. So life is good when you're doing food prep, right? It means you have food to prep. Good morning, Chicho. Pippi, Pippi lover, how are you doing? The stock market is an NW New World Order Bank. All my investments are in mutual funds. Is now a bank. Oh, it's now a bank, not NWA. New World Order Bank, but it's now a bank. Yeah, to a certain degree. But be careful. Uh, the stock market is a little overinflated. A little. Certain stocks are anyway. Many stocks are anyway. And gang, if you're in the markets, here's one thing with the stock market. Most people are only trading up. They think the only way to make money is if stocks go up. The markets are a two-way street. Okay. You can make money on the way up, but you can make money on the way down. If you've been convinced that you should always buy and hold for the long term because things will always go up, think twice about it. There's two ways to make money on the up and on the down. And even when everything's stable, you can write puts and calls, right? Good morning, Spider-Man. Massively inflated lover sense. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello, Chicho. Greetings from Germany. Greetings, Envious. How are you doing? What companies do you keep track of? Oh, a few. From uh, just from tech companies to mining companies to uh, just staple companies. Like I track Alcoa, I track Walmart, I track Tesla, I track Google, I track Amazon, I track uh, Nvidia, I track uh, cannabis, some cannabis companies, I track uh, uh, Kinross, I track Bear Gold, I track uh, West Shore Terminal, uh, which is basically coal, uh, shipping coal. I track uh, REITs that are, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, old folks, REITs, uh, homes where people stay in right there's a lot of those so those are they give pretty good dividends so I track those and their their beta isn't very you know it's not high so but every now and then they go right so I track pipeline companies uh, there's a lot there's a lot is the stream cutting out for people I hope not mini futures are a good way to make a few bucks if you have no life and still <laughs> sit all day yeah what makes a good math teacher uh, there's nothing that really makes a good math teacher but math teacher for sure there's you need to know mathematics you need to if you're teaching this concept you have to know how this concept connects up to a concept like four years later five years later you have to have a broad picture that's one thing that makes a good math teacher but in general uh, it shouldn't be what makes a good math teacher it should be what makes a good teacher right because it's you can teach anything as long as you care enough right so it comes down to love uh, it's it's not just love of the subject, it's a love of the student, love of the education process, love of society, love. And if you want to know what makes a great teacher, phenomenal teacher, read Krishnamurti's Education and the Significance of Life, right? Because what makes a great teacher is love. That's it. Okay. Love of the student, love of freedom love of humanity love of making sure that people can realize their dreams oh i'm, I'm missing a few chats gang sorry 
the scroll is going off. So if I missed you, if I, if you mentioned me, please uh, just post it again. Uh, Jason White Five Chicho, do you have any investments? If you do, then I don't see a point in looking at them every single day. If you're using it to determine what's going on, then maybe I would look at it uh, weekly. Um, if you're trading stocks, you should look at them every day. Trading, not investing. Trading. Um, but yeah, I do have investments, comic books. And do I check the prices every day? Comic books are a huge part of my life. I love checking the markets of the comic books. It, it's cool to me. Uh, and by checking them on a regular basis, I, you know, uh, for sure, you can check them weekly, monthly, depending on the comic books, depending on whatever you're invested in. But by staying up to date with the market that you're playing, uh, you can take opportunities, uh, advantages of certain things, right? So, you know, if you're buying comic books, if something new is coming out, it's a first appearance, it's this, it's that, it's that, you can buy it, right? So when, for example, when uh, Venom number three came out with the first appearance, full first full, full appearance of Null, right? The symbiote god, I went and bought five copies right I sold one a few months ago on eBay that we listed right that you saw sold one for like $60 right I have four of those left and they're going anywhere between 200 to 300 dollars now right five dollar investment gets you 200 to 300 dollar investment I'll probably sell another one uh, as soon as I get back on eBay I'm thinking about sending uh, some to be graded it's a market you have to be sort of up to date with it right and yes I'm doing good brother thank you very much sleepy ways what are some of the easiest foods to grow uh, tomatoes cannabis my best friend yes my best friend is a math and physics teacher at a high school here in Germany cool step in cats hey recognizing all the mental barriers that some people might have in learning math would be a top quality for a math teacher there are many different differences to why a person might need additional help uh, where schools uh, where schools in their one method yeah agreed with that you have to sort of if you're a math teacher you have to figure out be able to figure out where the gaps are in students lives when they're trying to learn mathematics there's once you can fill in those gaps it makes learning for for your students so much easier holy cow good investment good investment right pays for my comic books for a few months right and it's all paper gain right now I've only sold one right that's one reason I tell people people just think stock market is the only place to be and stuff like this or real estate it's not it's not some of the greatest investments you could be in are not real estate and not the stock market okay Smith the man the legend wait is that a tomato plant on the other on on the other tomato got us Tomato, the cannabis. <laughs> Bureaucracy kills. Is now a bad time to buy an expensive key comic? Do you think? No, it depends on the comic. I'm still buying, right? I'm interested in an auction coming up, but prices have been crazier. Yeah, it depends on the comic. Don't chase hot comics in general rule. Sometimes it's a good idea to chase hot comics, right? But generally, don't chase the hot comics, right? Prices of what comic are you looking at? Bureaucracy kills. Jason White, which is better for being a trader, math or uh, statistics? Statistics is math. <laughs> We gotta read in the future. Wow, you grow your own cannabis. I'm in Canada, we're allowed. Four plants, four plants.
My first indoor girl. Six weeks ago. Nice sleepy waves. I hope it's legal there. Graham. There's a major educational difference between prescription and description. Uh, prescribed curriculum is out, outmoded instead of... Instead, if we use the curriculum to describe the action, I think we might unlock more potential in young people. How to teach kids, students, how to learn. There's a reason why I put out a video. One of my uh, most watched videos is how to read a textbook. I put out two versions of that. One of them was a shortened version, which was 20 minutes or so, and the longer version, which was over an hour, right? Because what I found, I had a lot of students that didn't know how to read a textbook. They didn't know how to optimize their time with the textbook. So one of the things I do teach my students, my math students, my physics students, my science students, right, is how to read a textbook because they don't know. Like, how? think back in your school days, right? Did you guys have a course or an instructional period where they taught you how to read a textbook? I didn't. I had to figure it out, right? It's been really hard learning to soil. I wonder if you can cook with the cannabis plant. You can extract the. You can cook it with butter, coconut butter, or just butter. Any fats and get out the uh, the oils, right? The THC and stuff. Giant size expert number one. Depending on where it is, bureaucracy kills giant size expand number one it's still it will go up in value you might catch it at a high right now it might drop in price but over a long extended period of time it's a collectible it's not going away right so if you have the extra funds and depending on you know what the price is going to be uh, what it is right now like I don't have it I don't have giant size expand number one I should have bought it a long time ago but I didn't and I don't have the funds right now to buy it right um, it depends depends on the grade as well but it's like amazing fantasy number 15 is there a bad time to buy amazing fantasy number 15 sure you could be buying at a peak and then the price might drop but is it a bad investment it's gonna keep its value Jason White I just realized that you have many videos about markets and investing what are your thoughts on it are there more <coughs> for beginners or advanced what do you what do you help in um, I go I'm basically giving my financial advice um, what I think is important to invest in so these are clean game okay? take a look at those if you have questions let me know so all I'm gonna do with these now is uh, basically soak them in water and get rid of the plant matter that floats up top yeah no we didn't either how to read a textbook which is should be one of the one of the things that they teach every year for about go over it for a few days like a week on how to read a textbook or your teacher should if you're reading a science textbook or whatever right a lot of meta skills learning were not taught just swim right in the mass of knowledge and don't know how to step out yeah have a look at the uh, structure of it in many ways i have witnessed the shortcomings of school indeed the sleepy waves do you usually look at prices in on ebay uh i look at prices on three different things three or four different things ebay i look at prices on my comic shop if they have it available i look at prices on a couple of uh, uh, what do you call it uh, price guides online search sold prices yeah on ebay not live prices for better value yeah and one of the things with ebay sellers i believe can pay a little bit of extra to have their comics listed up at on the first searches right so they pop up up the top so those are usually higher prices so if you're searching for comics to buy don't just buy the first few that appear right scroll down the first few that appear on ebay they're like advertisements people they're advertising 
their prices and they're usually higher than the ones below okay and I usually usually buy uh, auction ones I buy I buy uh, buy it now as well edamame yeah they almost look like edamame I think I saw a video by you Chicho explaining how to really use eBay to find yeah I have one out there okay I'm gonna go put this in the over there and I'm gonna bring the strawberries because we're gonna clean strawberries okay let me get rid of this guy too actually I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna dump this here's the carcasses all right this is what we ended up cleaning I got a little bucket here with plant matter that I'm gonna I put things in and then compost that let's do this I'm gonna go get the strawberries gang and I'm gonna put on a jacket it's getting a little chilly here okay One flat of strawberries. <laughs> nice, eh? look at this. Awesome, awesome. Super good. Organic, uh, unsprayed strawberries from a local farm. Let's bring this here. Oops. Let's bring a knife. I'm gonna put on my glasses again. Yeah, an un unscheduled live stream, Eddie G. This is a nice surprise. Unbutton. Check out these strawberries. Like, they're really good. Look at that. These are great for making jam. Okay. Fantastic for making jam. So all we gotta do now is get rid of the green matter, right? The green parts. So I need to optimize my placement of things. Okay, let's just do this. I'm gonna put, actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. I'm just gonna put this in the bottom and I'm gonna put the plant matter here. And I'm gonna drop the strawberries on the side here. Okay. Actually, let's do it this way. I got two stools here. I'm gonna sit back to too much pressure on my on my lower spine. Let's do this too. Clean napkin. The mosquito ones on one side. Uh, just tea.
apologies if I'm not going to stay up with the chat. I'm just going to uh, look up every now and then. Just because if there's anything directed towards me, just let me know. I'll catch them. I should make the text a little bit bigger so I see it. <laughs> Canadians, we have these shirts. Plaid. You'll see a, you see a fair bit of Mac jackets. We call these Mac jackets in Canada. Yeah, I love this jacket, man. So good, so good. This jacket's seen a lot of uh, lot of the world with me. Mosquito. Come on. Oh, I gotta kill you. Oh, you're, you're not a mosquito. What are you? Are you a mosquito? Oh, you're a gigantic mosquito. Look at you. No, oh, he went away. He knew what was coming for him. Look at the size of this guy. Look at this guy. Look at him. See him? You guys see him right there? He wants some chicho blood. Chicho. Or envious. <laughs> chicho, do you still live in the same area where you first moved to? Uh, coming to Canada, yeah, just, uh, what do you call it, uh, we first came to Vancouver and I'm in Victoria, but I lived in Vancouver until a few years ago, and I keep on going back to Vancouver, I have lots of family there. as well. So then when I'm taking them out, I'm taking out the whole chunk of the thing, right? Chicho, to get Canadian citizenship than a US one. Um, I have no desire to get a US citizenship to the truth. That Chicho. Are those uh, marijuana plants on the left? Cannabis. Cannabis. Tomato? Cannabis. Tomato? Cannabis. Tomato? Cannabis. In Canada, we're allowed to grow. Oh, this one's too ripe. We like it too. We're allowed to grow four. Four. Uh, I got four, oh, four different strains? Four different strains. Um, they're hybrid, there's uh, indica and sativa. But they're all basically just hybrids, really. They're from a local uh, grower. Oh, look at this mosquito vertigo. Man, this gigantic mosquito, look at him. Okay, you gotta go. Oh, look at the size of that guy. <laughs> well fed. I 
have Northern Lights and GG Cheese Cross. Nice. Where are you located, uh, Deb? Crane fry flies. I don't. I've never heard of crane clean crane fr uh, flies. I don't think we have them here, do we? This guy's a mosquito for sure. His programming is good. You're an East Coast step. Okay. Canada. Yeah. Or US. Tanzania. Wow, wow. I'm a goat herder and my wife is the tribal leader. <laughs> nice. I like to have goats. Really. Look at the size of this one. Look at this gigantic thing. As I do, you think it's harder to get a Canadian citizenship? Oh, a Canadian citizenship than U.S.? I don't know. I don't know. I've never tried getting a U.S. citizenship. So, U.S. used to be hard. I don't know how much how hard it is. Canadian used to be easier. In Canada, they used to just want people to invest. A, they they were selling citizenships, really. You know. A few years ago, 15, 20 years ago, if you invested, invested $300,000, you got a citizenship. I and mean, they considered buying an apartment and investment. So a lot of foreign money came in and bought apartments and houses. And they got citizenship. Which I think is ridiculous, to tell you the truth. But. Buying in a house is essential, it's not an investment. It's craziness, craziness. We're losing a little bit of strawberries when I cut them this way, but that way we don't get the plant matter for sure. No, they're not my strawberries bought them from a local farm we just got them yesterday unsprayed organic strawberries so oh look at this guy you coming back <laughs> this stuff can't kill him like this look at this guy U.S. immigration law hasn't changed. If you're, if anything, it's become harder. Okay. 
most people adjust their status through marriage yeah same here uh, other than that there's no actual pathway to, to citizenship in the United States unless someone petitions for you and that you take uh, you take over 12 years yeah and in Canada too you can sponsor they call sponsor here and if you sponsor someone I think you're responsible for them for 10 years financially if they screw around right yeah I do have a garden no, I'm, we're sitting in my garden right now it's a patio garden okay and uh, we grow some stuff but we can't grow a flat of strawberries here but we actually bought two flats of strawberries I'm gonna as soon as we finish this one I'm gonna bring the other one I'm gonna clean the other one too it's just a lot of strawberries if we we're gonna grow this many strawberries the whole garden patio would have to be strawberries Western you have a large collection of comic books is it uh, form of, it is a form of investment for sure but I also love the medium I love comic books uh, and a long time ago I decided to make comic books one of my main investments investment tools as well as a hobby so I turned my hobby into sustainable hobby where I build my assets right like people take money and put it into you know into the stock market I take my money and put it into comic books I also publish comic books so comic books to me is a business what I do here when I sh read comic books and stuff like this and talk about comic books and show comic book hauls and do ASMR math comic book videos and stuff like this that's part of my business plan so it is a part of my business so multiple reasons I guess Jason Chicho I have never thought about comic books as a form of investing can you elaborate on it like what's the price growth per year it's huge uh, it depending on what you invest in uh, Jason check out uh, in my personal finance playlist on YouTube there's a two-part video we put out where we talk about money currency investing and stuff like this and I compare the price growth of uh, investing taking a look at the CPI taking a look at housing taking a look at income taking a look at uh, Dow Jones taking a look at uh, uh, a Bitcoin taking a look at uh, certain stocks certain funds and taking a look at comic books specifically we looked at the most important comic book uh, which is action comics number one and the growth rate of action comics number one blew away every other investment other than uh, Bitcoin okay and another fund that was mathematicians that put it together were auto trading so if you look at my personal finance playlist uh, there is so for example I'll, I'll give you one right now uh, in 1984 action comics number one uh, in the grade that it was at uh, sold for hundred forty thousand dollars right at the time that was the highest sold comic book right hundred forty thousand dollars in 19, 19 uh, sorry 1992 I believe right two years ago actually that same comic book right same grade sold for three million dollars that's a pretty good investment that's a phenomenal return 
right? Art is one of the greatest places you could park your money. Invest. Okay. Like a lot of people say housing, housing, housing. No, housing has not been the best place to park your money. Sometimes, oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. Oh, we sat on the it's the same mosquito. We need more spiders here to eat up the mosquitoes. Crazy Jason says, there are so many videos. Is there one of them? Historic prices of comic books flipping through the 1916 order catalog. Yeah, you could take a look at that, but not that one. Uh, Jason, um, after the stream, if you message me, if you post, go to our Discord and tell me, you know, uh, ask me which video uh, I'll post them for you. They're called. Uh, look for a video that's called. If you find the name, it's called uh, Personal Finance. Start off with Personal Finance. It's got uh, colon, and then it should say Money, Currency, uh, Money, Currency. If you do search for Chicho, Personal Finance, Money, Currency, and put uh, gold in there as well. In one of them. Uh, we looked at the price of gold as well, right? So we looked at a bunch of videos. I really want your blood in this. <laughs> the mosquito wants it. Okay, what I need to do is transfer these guys into a, uh, what do you call it? This one, personal file, currency, money, and the economy, part one. Yes, that's part one, and part two continues from that, right? So in part one, we look at um, CPI, we look at, we talk about what money is, what currency is, the definition of those things, and then we create the table as a semi-log graph that we graph the stuff on, right? So the x-axis is just time, and the y-axis is semi-log, uh, exponential growth, right? And uh, in part two, we look at the comic books and uh, certain funds. Oh, sorry, I did that by the microphone. You must die. Oh, got him. He fell on the ground. Okay, he's dead. No damage done here, so I won't bother uh, cleaning the hands. He just died. We're going to wash the strawberries anyway later. I brought my pots here. Rest in peace. This is dangerous. Nice. Cool. Cool. Let's clean this one too. Let's put a lid on it. Let's bring these guys back. Action Comics number one, yeah. Spider Man. Part two uh, is the title Personal Finance, Currency, Money, Economy, Part Two, Gold, SP, Superman, yeah. Superman is Action Comics number one. Income, Bitcoin, yeah. Those are, that's part two. My pleasure, Jason. And if you like the video, if you have questions, let me know. We can, you know, we can elaborate and stuff. Oh, there's another one. There are plenty here, mosquitoes. They don't teach about comic books in university, no. They don't teach much at university. Some stuff. So you're definitely providing something unique, yeah. 
I found most uh, business, most they're very bubble oriented. No, Chicho, don't eat them. You make me <laughs> it's just just like my name, I believe. They're super good, man. But these would make uh, the smaller strawberries are actually better for eating. Personally, I think the bigger strawberries are good for jam, or they should be good for jam. I should say. I got them from a farm in this, yeah. Local farm. Organic, unsprayed. A good idea to eat as healthy as possible, right? Ice fix. FX. Chicho, what is the difference between money and currency? Uh, currency is a medium of exchange. We're trading, right? Money is anything. It's basically asset like you know as the same goes time as money time is not currency time is money there's value to it currency is a medium of exchange something you use to trade money right so food is money this is money right this is not a currency currency is something that we've come up with to be able to uh, conduct business more easily do trade more easily keep it local keep it local as local as possible you go out to eat to a restaurant go to a local restaurant don't go to the chains right if you're gonna buy meat try to find yourself a local butcher local farm to get your meat from especially in the, especially in these times and never go back to the multinationals if you can help it make your community anti-fragile this should be the first thing they teach in business school but it isn't not even close if anything they teach how to destroy communities right chase profit and short-term profit at that By the way, each flat, each one of these flats of strawberries, I got two of them. So what we just ended up doing, this is the last one that we're doing from this flat. Uh, they cost $50 Canadian, right? So US wise, that'd be like $35 US, right? Which is a pretty good price here anyway. Earlier in the season, they were like more 60 or $70. They're really good. They're fantastic. And yes. Can't wait to make jams out of these, really. With organic cane sugar, right? Elder God, all my suppliers to my pub are local. Nice. And yes, even have a, a fish market here. 
right in the center of your cave. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh no, he eats again. <laughs> Look at this one. I'm gonna pop this one. Envious for you. I'm gonna go get the next flat. <laughs> I will do. Here's the next flat, right? Nice. Nice strawberries. Fun. I think I'm gonna cook these up uh, today because there are some that are getting a little bit on the mold, moldy side, the ones that I'm throwing away, like these ones, right? So, for sure, I'm gonna put the pot on today. I don't know if I'll jar them today, uh, but just cook them up today. And possibly jar them today as well, why not?
Okay, I'm going to transfer these ones into another pot as well. Teach you a very interesting video. Uh, do you use uh, statistical models for your trading or investment analysis? Uh, I used to. I used to. Like 20 years ago, though. That's when I did the, my main investing in the stock market and whatnot. Um, but right now, I just know certain markets. So I, I just know the trends i see see the way they work i look at some of the some of the measures you know the boolean bands just the general things right Because when you rip off the green, yeah, watch. If you rip off the green, there's still this chunk left, right? This much left. I don't want that in my jam. I'm okay wasting a little bit. You know, I bought two flats for this reason. I don't mind wasting a little bit. That way it looks like this. It doesn't have the stick part in it. Time series analysis, okay, uh, Monta Guard. I've I've used I don't know what the names are, man. I <laughs> I use some of the stuff that like seriously when I was doing this trading, uh, I was doing 20 years ago, right? So I forget all the different things I was using. I looked at the the bars and the, the, yeah, it's just. There's so much stuff you can look at. The best, the best thing to use for trading is really experience, right? No mountain. Jam. I'm gonna be making jam. Yeah, yeah. For jam, you gotta get rid of the stick part, right? For liqueur, you don't. And we've made some liqueur, strawberry liqueur. I might make some of this into liqueur as well. I doubt it though. I think I'm gonna make it all into jam. <clears throat> Again, gang, if I'm missing some of the chat, my apologies. I got the chat and scroll mode, so because um, my hands are really, I can't really scroll up or down with the chat. These ones I didn't grow. These ones I bought uh, Spider-Man. But yeah, we have a couple of like the that guy there you see is strawberries. And we have another bigger pot that we're growing strawberries. So I do like growing my own strawberries, but uh, I think next year we're gonna grow a lot more. Like food prices have kicked up here. Uh, I don't know where you guys are, but it's more expensive. So this also saves us money when we buy our own, uh, when you grow your own food, right? I might keep a couple of these containers just for eating later. Because it's nice to eat, so we're about halfway through this flat. So we're going to do a couple more. And then leave it at that
Another thing you can do with strawberries is just cut them up and then put sugar on them and put them in the fridge. And just the juices comes out, it becomes like syrup. It's so good, so good. I think Chicho is originally from Middle East, right? Uh, originally, I was born in Iran, but I've been living in Canada for 40 years. Like, most of my life has been here. And specifically, West Coast. Anyways, plus, like, uh, plus when I come to the U.S., I will visit Chicho and steal some of his strawberries. He so, yeah, so, so cruel to make me envious. <laughs> envious, says... <laughs> Funny. There is one. This one needs to be popped. Did you ever visit Germany? Yeah, I've been to Germany. I have relatives in Germany. I have first cousins that live there. They've been in Germany many years. Duisburg, Duisburg, Düsseldorf, and uh, Cologne. So I've been to Germany. And they do come and visit us. Is it 420 time yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> 420 every day, really, but hey. Officially 420, not yet. It was earlier this morning for me. It all depends. It all depends. Awesome, Chicho. Tell them they should bring me. <laughs> Bring me with them next time they visit you for the strawberries, for the strawberries. I think this is the last one we're gonna do and I'm gonna keep four of these for just eating okay is this preparation for new liquor no this is for making jam we have enough we made one big strawberry liqueur one that should last us all year 
I might make a little bit more take some of this and make a little bit more liqueur because it's just so damn amazing the strawberry one <laughs> very dangerous but uh, we want jam I want strawberry jam mm, that one was so good Jason, my education was uh, geophysics with a minor in mathematics. The bachelor in geophysics with minor in mathematics. And for, in terms of economics and stuff, uh, I've taken some courses. I actually have my SAP FI certificate. German software, by the way very good software SAP fantastic over the top some of these are going too ripe oh this one look at this one pour this one Say that again, SAP, yeah, SAP FI certificate. That's the financial part of it. SAP is enterprise resource planning uh, software that large corporations implement. My brother, girlfriend had a miscarriage and we are going to say our last good, oh, I'm sorry to hear that money man. Gang, that's our patio time. Look at this. Let me transfer this into another pot I have as well. We're keeping here. We're keeping four of these for eating later. Oh, you implement SAP. That's cool. Uh, oh, we'll show. I haven't done a full rollout. Uh, I worked in a company where we're just filtering the data through making sure the nodes were pointing in the right direction and again i did that like 20 years ago <laughs> i just like trying different things right and i should be able to make it only two pots okay let me move this guy over Let's put the lid on this guy. Let's put this guy over. Come closer. Coolio, how's it going? Yeah, this was a chill stream just to do some prep and stuff. My hands are really dirty, gang. I need to go wash them. Can't really mess around with the computer too much with this. Ducks Victrix, how are you doing? Jason Chicho, I assume most of your knowledge comes from reading books and not from your professional life. How do you determine what books to read and which are good books? Uh, experience goes a long way. Uh, if I pick up a book, I start reading it. I don't, if I, if it doesn't grab me, I don't feel obligated to finish that book, right? I read, if I like a book, I continue the book. If I don't like a book, I pick up another book, right? So that's one thing I, I realize people have this thing that they want to finish everything they start. You don't have to finish everything you start. This is about experience, right? So you can just do things. If you don't like it, move on. Uh, that's my, my take on things. And it's just life experience. And there's nothing more uh, uh, better for learning than doing. So I've done a lot. I try to do a lot, right? I've had incorporated companies, I've run my own businesses and stuff like this and managed huge projects for multinational corporations and published comic books, I had an 800, a 900 number dating service in the 1990s, two of them. <laughs> I've done a few different things. It was been helping me feel better lately. Oh, really, Spider-Man? I'm glad they're helping out. 
We've caught you red-handed, red-handed, red-handed. Gang, let's call it a stream. I'm gonna go do a cookout. I'm gonna go cook some strawberries. Okay. Uh, a good philosophy on books. Imagine finishing a song that you didn't like because you already got a minute in. I know it's crazy. <laughs> Jaded mask. It's weird, right? And some people feel the same way about degrees. They go get a degree. And just because they got a degree in something, they're all they feel obligated to spend 20 years of their life doing something they hate. Don't do that, right? And if you do two years in something, you don't like that thing, move on to another degree, right? Thanks, John Charger. I liked it. It was a good stream. I love spending time here in my in my nature shrubbery patio. So it was fun spending it with you guys, gang. Much love, everyone. Thanks for the stream. Lots of love, gang. By the way, I didn't do an intro for this, but we're going to do an intro or ending now. If you want to support this work, if you want to know who I am, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho. C-H-Y-C-H-O. Okay. You can follow the work. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And if you do follow, you do find out you like the work that we're doing here, supporting this work through Patreon is a great way to make sure we continue doing what we are doing. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to follow this work, if you want to participate in the chat as it's happening, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who are followed, subscribed, thank you very much for the follows and subscribe. And as always, for those of you who are supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for your support. I do announce these live streams just before we go live, a few minutes before we go live, if they're unscheduled live streams. And I do announce the scheduled live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO, VK, Parlor, Minds, Gap, and twitter for now so you can follow the work there for a lot of live streams we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o this one we're not doing i'm not recording with a lapel mic maybe in the future we'll grab the audio from this and load it up but for now we've got a lot of things to catch up on so we'll hold off on that and we will be uploading this video to both youtube and bitshoot and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by following, subscribing, liking, sharing, and all that jazz. And if you're uh, on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. By the way, gang, tomorrow morning, we're going to do another, most likely, 90% probability, we're going to do another unscheduled live stream because I got a comic book haul to show you guys. Two, book, two comic book hauls. One of them is modern comics, a lot of modern comics, and one comic book cgc graded from 1948 and uh i forget who it was that was asking about investing comics i think that was jason you'll see what this is all about okay aside from that gang i'll see you guys tomorrow most likely it'll happen tomorrow morning if not we're going um, our scheduled live streams four days begins on saturday with movies Bye, everyone. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And thanks for joining me in the patio. It was fun. Bye for now.